Oh my god, it's working. Oh, that was painful. It's clicking start stream, but absolutely nothing was happening. But this looks more promising. Hey, and uh, welcome to my live stream of Sam and Max Hit the Road. This is a game that I've been wanting to replay for, I don't know, probably a couple of weeks now. I usually do it maybe once or twice every couple of years. But I figured rather than do it alone and be more isolated than I already am, given the pandemic, thought why not open it up and uh, have a little community. So I'm going to have the game on my PC here. To the left, I have the chat, so I'll keep an eye on anyone that's watching and what they want to say. Hi to Jer Bear. And hi to Tom, who I know is currently tuning in. So I'm about to click start. If you find the audio levels are a bit crap, let me know, and I'll do my best to adjust them. Otherwise, let's get to it. Demographics. Friends? Friends? We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? What a nice guy. You never gave me a chance, and for that... You'll fry like a pork sausage. Not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. I think I'd rather go out with someone more of the unpredictable. Smash! Thumbs up for the incredible MIDI soundtrack. Hello! This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic matter. I feel like this is social commentary. I knew he wasn't a real doctor. Uh, shall I, I can see some guys Sadu doing this when they get rejected. Sick him up, little buddy. Ooh. Ow. Hey, nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damn ugly time bomb. Do you really the criminal yet? cesspool pronto. Good idea, Sam. Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. Mind if I drive? Subtitles are not, not very good to keep it up with the audio. The dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. <laughs> Sam, is pronto a real word? Asking Good the hard boy, questions. Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. <laughs> They're just going to leave her tied up. <laughs> she seems perfectly content just to stand there. Sit there even. Right, let's skip the... Uh, Illuminati confirmed. Let's skip the opening credits. See the name of the game. Well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? <laughs> Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one of us is ticking. Oops, oh yeah. I thought we going to ditch him in the credits so it doesn't running. hurt anyone we know or care about. <laughs> out the window, Sam. There's nothing but strangers out there. <laughs> Max is so brutal. I hope there was nobody on that bus. Nobody we know, at least. The game is nowhere near as snappy with the subtitles on, but I want to keep it on for people who can't be bothered to listen. Hello? Yes? 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 No? Really? Well, the same to you, Mac. Another confused census taker? Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. 
Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. Sweet, here we go. I'm going to turn down the <laughs> the volume of the music. Watch out for the rat attack. I've actually know straight off the bat that if I use the fuck off back. If I use the um mouse hole, I'll be able to get some cash. Max is just standing in the way though. Move! Come over here. Boom. Cash. Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. This is one of the first LucasArts games that did away with the verb table at the bottom. So you actually just right click to toggle for everything. So this is walk. That's look at, that's grab or take, that's speak to, and this is use. So as you've seen already, you can actually use max, which is gonna be pivotal in about five minutes time. But over here, I want to feed this sandwich to this Me, man. me, oh. me! Oh, fine, all right, max. So I need this light over here. Remember that. Pop that in the inventory. Play some quick darts with these darts and dagger and axe. Okay, let's roll. Show you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Definitely the same voice actor as Sam. Brutal, but very true to life. I wonder if I can just. And like... here's one for your old man. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. I can't actually push it down the stairs. Oh, like that's a max thing. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence of are my it forte. Is. You're such an adorable urchin, Max. Right, let's roll. Hey there, little fella. You talking to me? They ask him a question, maybe just say something. I don't know what the duck is. Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? <laughs> Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Well... Oh, yeah, right. Great subtitling. Sorry, guys. I swallowed your orders for safekeeping. But now, now I can't seem how to does one back up. get those orders, you may be wondering? Well, I have the answer. I just love to turn this guy inside out. Ooh, that gives me an idea. Lovely. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do, like any time. Alright, so this is uh, Sam and Max's DeSoto, I think it's called. This will take us to the road, so let's roll. Right, uh, this is the carnival. Tom Nation and Blimey, he ain't here. So now what do we do? Now? Now we get in the bus and look for him, you idiot. I knew that. Huh? <sighs> get out of Mr. Bumpus way, ye partially clad varmints. Varmints is such a nice insult. Who is that? Insult. I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree innocence of this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecaps. 
You're a demonic little imp, Max. Now, I can't remember how to actually get into the Hall of Oddities. This guy breathes fire to prevent you from doing it. Uh, what do I have? I don't think he wants money. Let's just talk to the guy. Hey, what's the hold up? Sorry, boys, we are closed. I can't let you in. Insurance reasons, you know. Nothing ever changes. Let us in, all your breath. Nope. Who are those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? The short one with the bad hairpiece and the tall one with the dark flinty eyes. Hey, I just work here. Anything else? I want a corn dog. You'd better have a better reason than that if you expect me to let you in. I'm gonna try and bribe him. I'll be back. I can hardly wait. Oh, wait a minute. I remember. Doesn't he just need the orders from the commissioner? Check this out, Jack. We're the freelance police. Here's our authorization to be him. here. Now let us in before we replace you with a cheap renewable fuel source. Let me run this by the boss. Brilliant. Uh, I guess you can go in. But be careful. Cannibals can be dangerous to your health. <laughs> Why didn't they sub the subtitle? <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I that was spelling. needlessly cryptic. I'd be peeing my pants if I wore any. Everything seems to be in order here. Sam, look over there. How dare you call in the authorities without consulting me? Well, I tried talking to you, but you were off wallowing in your own self-pity. Yeah, but... It's them. Hi. I'm Shep Cushman, and this is my brother Burl. Welcome to our carnival. What's left of it? I'm Sam. He's Max. We savagely protect the rights of innocence. <laughs> Even cruelly twisted ones such as yourself. Selves. Whatever. Oh, God's sake, Max. Well, don't miss you pronoun. sound like just the guys to solve our little problem. Walk this way. See this melted block of ice? How could we miss it? This used to be our main attraction. Your main attraction was a block of ice? <laughs> Don't be dense. Our main attraction was a genuine, authentic, real life, Bigfoot on ice. Hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go traipsing all over the country looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does it hurt? But Bruno must be returned to us. Max's contribution is just like He's smart and equipped to what anyone says. With no sense of right or wrong. Doesn't further hey, the story who at isn't? all. Besides, he's kidnapped our second main attraction. Is that the block of ice? No, it's Trixie the giraffe neck girl from Scranton. Scranton. She disappeared at the same time Bruno did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. I guess Max and I could search for your missing freaks, but we'll need free run of the carnival to look for clues. Yeah, and free coin dogs, so we can yuke all over ourselves. No problem. Here's an all-day free pass. How lucky. Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Koran. Didn't he fight Godzilla? <laughs> right. Let's pick up some clues. I know that that Bigfoot hair doesn't come into importance until very late in the game. I don't know why we need this hand, I just know that we need it. I'm literally just playing through the story, so I could talk to everyone and get a big barrel of laughs, but ideally, I want to try and get this done in three hours. That's my aim. Right, got to play 
whack a rat. Watch out for the rat attack. Remember we picked up that black light right at the beginning. We win a torch from this game and then we put the black light into the torch. I only had to hit 10 minutes. Or 20 minutes. This should come out as its own remastered game. No rats were harmed in the making of this game. Trifecta. <laughs> Told you to watch out. I like how they just get more and more disorientated. I missed one apparently. Poor guys. Look at the brain damage. 39. I want something. I want a very pixelated torch. Okay, I know I need to ride the Kono tra oh, Konov tragedy because basically I lose everything and I have to go to Lost and Found and I get all my stuff back plus an extra item which I require for a puzzle later in the game. Excuse us, we need some help and although you seem dangerously unequipped brain-wise, we come to you for advice. <laughs> Me and my partner want to ride the cone of tragedy. Under normal That's circumstances, right. we, will to live. <laughs> we would just kind of ask I'm questions and to, discover clues, but I know what I'm doing. You look like a I know what I'm doing. Non -litigious mammals. Strap yourselves in and I'll turn on the cone. I almost enjoy how Sam and Max inhabit this kind of dystopian version of the United States. Not that much different right now. It's literally like going to Tame or Goose Fair. I feel like it's hazardous to my health. This game needs to be remastered, it would just look so good. But I think it's owned by Disney now, and it's probably not particularly high on their priority list. Ooh, I feel tragically empty. Me too. It's as though an integral part of my essence has been ripped from my being. Let's do it again! Maybe later, chum. Now look at my inventory. Hey, what happened to my carefully collected box of useless junk? Right. I think we can walk this way. Apparently not. Right, let's walk the other way. I know we can't get into Trixie's trailer yet. We need a crowbar to yank the door open. You know what, let's use Max on this. I think that could be quite funny if it allows me. Hey, Max. What? Can you ring that bell? Sure. You're my hero, little buddy. Holy cripes on toast. Nothing personal, but you're the single ugliest thing we've ever seen. <laughs> well, there was that computer game developers conference. Oof. Have you lost Low something? I've lost a whole bunch of neat junk. You must have been gifted with psychic powers to make up your obvious physical shortcomings. Bad deal. Have you got a claim ticket? Well, no, but... Do you think we let just any... Ah, oh, shit, I need to talk to the guy who runs the Kona Tragedy and get the ticket. Come back when you got a claim ticket. I like the way he says claim. Claim ticket. Oi, buddy, where did all my cool junk go? Will you help me? Depends. What do you want? Where'd all my cool junk go? It must have fallen out of your coat while you were on the ride. Here's a claim ticket. Take it to the lost and found. Came from his hat. Probably covered in dandruff. 
Right, round two, let's try that again. I still can't get over your incredible grotesqueness. Have you lost something? I lost a whole bunch of neat junk. Have you got a claim ticket? Yes. Sure. Yes, I have. Wait here while I search through the back room. Well, here's all the stuff we've collected off the Kono tragedy today. I thought the carnival was empty. It's closed even. Like, why is everybody I A feel at work? Whole again. And everything they've collected off the Kono tragedy today, assuming we're the only ones that have ridden it. There we go, we have this fish magnet now. It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its side. I wonder how that got in there. Now it gives us the World of Fish. Okay, there's one other thing we can do here, I believe. And that's ride the Tunnel of Love. This bit always used to stump me when I was younger. Because it requires some precise timing. And to use the black light in the torch. Fits perfectly. Wanna ride the tunnel of love? Yippee! Yippee! Right now if I use the torch, there's a secret switch. I need to use Max. I need him equipped. Like, it's a really odd mechanic that only works in this particular sequence. There's the switch. I absolutely love this bit. That's a good idea. Maybe I should try it when I'm a little closer like, to the fuse box. How on earth would you have figured this out back in the day? Hmm. Oh, I know what I'm going to do to disrupt the power. I'm going to grab Max, wet his head, and shove him in the box. <laughs> Now, I think I can open this door and there's a mole man that lives in the I can't carnival. Walk through this door. It's not real. Oh. Max, get off. Uh, maybe it's not Max. I can't pick that up. Come here, Max. What's up? Check this out. I'll never shave again. You never did. Ah, he's got the crowbar. I need to break into Trixie's trailer. There. That should get things running again. This guy looks really happy. I feel like I'm missing a step and he needs something that will give me the crowbar. Chocolates, I think. Who are you? I'm Doug, the mole man. I'm Doug. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We fight crime. And we like long walks along the beach. What do you want from me? Do you know anything about Bruno the Sasquatch? Bruno the Sasquatch? Why, the stories I could tell you. Oh, God. Stop him, Sam. He's going to tell us a story. <laughs> I Here first met Bruno 25 years ago in Saigon. And then there was the time we all had our taxes done by a platypus, and... Shut up! For God's sake, just shut up! Look, we just want to know where Bruno is now. Gee, I have no idea where he went. Maybe you should talk to my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah, my uncle Shavul. He's really into Bigfoots. A weird thing to when be I was a kid, he used to tell me stories about giant Bigfoot parties, where all the Bigfoots of the world would get together and dance Bigfoot dances, and... That's great, kid. Where can we find your uncle? I don't know. He disappeared a short time after he helped build the largest ball of twine on Earth. Should that unlock the largest ball of twine on Earth? Yep. I think I may weep openly. Look, you two seem trustworthy. Oh, we are. <laughs> Honest. Yes, you can trust us as far as we can throw you. So if you bring me some pecan-flavored candy, I'll give you my key to Trixie's trailer. 
I'll also tell you a big secret about how Bruto escaped. Why not tell us now? Because I'm hungry. I think that's all for now. Fine. You can find your own way out. Right, back to the car. I remember how to get the candy. We need to go to Snookies. There are multiple Snookies on the map, as I recall. Jebass says, you know what they say about big feet? <laughs> Means a big heart. Right. Oh, oh, I need the cup. That cup's just begging to be picked up. There's a lot of misdirection in these earlier the games. Bathroom. Bloody hell, Max, because I think in modern adventure games, generally, all you have to interact with is the object and the solution to the puzzle, whereas in these older ones, you generally have, like, a few extra items that you can pick up that have absolutely no value or purpose. I gotta go to the bathroom. Here's the candy. Talk to this Bernard clone from Day of the Tentacle. Are you in charge here? Don't I wish. I'd have to go to Snucky U for another six years before I could run this place. But enough about me. What can I do for you? I want to buy some candy. I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course yes. I do. Here. I got out of my rat hole. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Anything else? Max wants to use the bathroom. My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned. I need a bathroom. They're in the back. Here's the key. There's an awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Wink, wink. That'll be useful. Out of toilet paper? <laughs> nah, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. The keys? The restrooms. The writing in this game is You need some stupendous. help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, anything else I can do for you? Nope, I need to intercept Max and steal Nothing. that key. You have no idea how often I hear that. I love the music. I actually recomposed music for the snappy scene as part of my university dissertation. Max! Are you as confused as I am? More so! Give me the key. I think we should keep the rasp. You're probably right. No one deserves to use restrooms that clean. Well, that's all. Right. So let's go back to... Oh, you see that animation? <laughs> he didn't walk for a few steps. Let's go back to the Tunnel of Love and give Doug his farm candy. And I've only got two viewers right now, which are Tom and Jerry. Lol. Thank you for tuning in. Wanna ride the tunnel of love? Share it across all your Yippee! socials. I did that, just look there's a cat fair just went across my face. It's impossible to get a house clean when you own long hair cats. Ah, I didn't have to do the whole sequence again. Good. Is that candy? I hate pecan flavored candies. Yeah, they're not for you, Sam. <laughs> Viewers Here, are enjoying the channel. I thought you might like some candy. Thanks. Did his head just disappear? Hey, you're all right. Take this key as a token Watching of my the, appreciation. Uh... Oh, it did as well. <laughs> More graphical glitches in this game than I recall. Wow, this is some key. Okay, Sam, let's get the hell out of here. Wait, I've got a great story you should hear. I love the sound Max makes. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it short, kid. My partner's got a low tolerance for long stories. Well, it all started the day before today. I remember it like it was yesterday. Never understood that joke when I was younger, because I was like, they're the same it's thing. It's not widely known, but Trixie had fallen in love with Bruno. That's the joke. 
Every night, she'd sneak into the freak show tent and read to him what she imagined to be his favorite bedtime stories. She seemed as happy as a self-mutilated parody of nature could be. <laughs> the dialogue in this game. But she could never truly be happy until her beloved Bruno was free. Finally, she decided to do something about Bruno's It'd be really awkward if she thought Blanc the ice Bay, and the Bruno fire was a massive dick. to free the Bigfoot from his icy cage. Flambe took pity on poor Trixie and liberated Bruno. Flambe. And the happy couple haven't been seen since. So it wasn't an abduction. Hell of a story, ain't it? Glad there was no follow up. Now we can break into Trixie's trailer. Perhaps there'll be more clues. I'd love to make an adventure game. I'm just not particularly witty. Hey Max, come here. What? Watch this. So it's Max, watch me do something stupid. Well, this is undignified. Looks just oh like boy. my bedroom. Let's open this. There's something in the cupboard. Hey, there's a neat costume in here. No animation for the mouth. This becomes a Bigfoot suit. I remember that. Yes, we do have to disguise ourselves as a Bigfoot. Oh no, not Gator Golf. It's a scorecard from the Gator it. Golf Emporium in Roomy Eyes, Florida. Roomy Eyes. <laughs> Just got that. Room is the scientific name for what you call sleep around your eyes. Alright, let's get out of here. We need to go somewhere else now. Hmm. Don't know where to go. Um, I think it might be a bit premature to go to World of Fish. I know we need a spanner at World of Fish. Uh, let's do four twine. There it is. Go to the Twine Museum. Some of the walking in this game takes far too long. I was gonna say, I thought there was a guy in here. This is an obscure puzzle. So if you This is a completely use... unusable thingamabob. Oh no, there's a sequence where I can Yeah, I have to grab something from Gator Golf. Talk to this guy, maybe he'll refresh my memory. Do you work here? Yep, have been for 40 years. So how can I help you? He look he sounds exactly as he looks. What's with all the fish guts flying past the window? Those are leftovers from our last fish delivery. Our famous rotating restaurant has fresh fish flown in every day from the world of fish in Mosquitoville, Missouri. That's where it would have discovered it on the map for me if I hadn't already. This ball isn't really made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep, it's the longest piece of twine in the world by 92 yards. Precise. That'll be all for now. Well, I'm not asking any of the NPCs about Trixie and Bruno because they actually don't illuminate the story at all. Usually it's good to talk to Max because Max has some smart addict quips which actually help you along with the story. Oh my god, hurry up. I want to get on this one. I'm not going to make it, am I? Nope. Now we've got to stand here and awkwardly wait. Yep, I know. So the puzzles on this are a little bit bizarre, but I would probably think that the Day of the Tentacle puzzles are a little bit more obscure because while well, they involve time travel, so you've really got to make some Shake a leg, logical Max. leaps in terms of what happened. So, for example, you put think wine in a time capsule so in the past you'll have vinegar in the future 
Which, you know, that makes more sense than some of them. Hey, look! Impressive. That's one long loose end! Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. He ain't wrong. Yeah, I remember how to get over there. I think... Oh, I know! I know! I just need that spanner. Which I actually think is at World of Fish, so we'll go there next. Basically, what we need to do is hide inside a giant fish. And then that gets picked up by the helicopter that the old guy mentioned. And takes us to that side of the desk. And I think the guy on the counter... I'm just ruining the story now. The guy on, who was chopping fish on the counter goes inside to get a bigger knife when he sees the massive fish. You're a spanner. I am a bit of a spanner. Where do I get the bloody spanner from? I hear a distant rumbling. You should have thought of that before we left. There's the fish. Yeah, I'll stop spoiling the story. I'm sorry, Jerry. I'm really bad with spoilers, just in general. Like, spoiler alert, but I'm just about to ruin this entire franchise for you. Do you get the spanner from? Can't remember. Surely that guy being in the water is scaring all the fish away. Weird. Mm. There's very little to actually do here other than grab the fish and solve the puzzle I've mentioned. <sighs> Dude, there we go. I cannot remember where to get the spanner. I believe they'd call it a wrench in this type of game. That's what I need for getting into the twine. Not that I care, but what made you think of putting alligators and golf together? <laughs> it's great when you prefix something with not that I care, but I didn't. Fact is, this place used to be a miniature golf course. Then, back in 89, the swamp flooded the whole shooting match, windmills and all. Next thing I knew, I had a half-submerged miniature golf course crawling with ten-foot-long gators. Gators. I hate when that happens. Tell me about it. So I turned the golf course into a driving range. I mean, it's a pretty good idea. Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the end clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. Manually. Isn't that dangerous? Max, stand still. Take a look. <laughs> right. Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? Still wrecking my brains trying to think of where I get that wrench. Max, let's go. And the proprietor <gasps> has no idea what happened to his big the obvious villains. That's what he said, Mr. Bumpus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think that vast unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. Is that a reference to Lee Harvey Ditto? Oswald? <sighs> Ditto. Hey, look it. It's those two, uh, what was that word, Sam? Misanthropes? Yeah, misanthropes. What are you, anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Conroy Bumpus, famed country and western star. I'd suggest you show him some respect. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge lizard to me. And I'll bet his scalp itches from that bad rug. Oh, Maybe triggered. you should watch yourself, little furball. 
Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Shot spot. Okay. I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. That's a dog joke. Hold still, you flea bitten pole cat. Here you go, balls. No, Max. What a jerk. It's a nice five iron, though. Get me the hell out of here! Now, what I need to do is switch the golf balls with this bucket of fish. And you'll see that the weird and twisted Sam and Max logic is pretty good. Hmm. How do I... Oh, I see. Right, okay. I'm scared, Sam! Basically, what we need to do is line up the alligators to create a path so I can get to Max. <laughs> I don't know, is that right? No, well, these two definitely aren't lined up, so let's do those next. I feel like these first three are not correct. Fishball? I like fishball. Oh, he's far too far over. This bit is infuriating. I was reading in a Steam review this morning that a lot of people hate this sequence, and it is very difficult to get right, because it's just completely random. I eat, and then... Further along. I don't think I'm going to get this game completed in three hours. They. Yes, that looks better. Get him next. This one at the front looks really happy. I'm just chilling. <sighs> Mini games are the scourge of my existence. Ah, there we go. Right. I'm scared, Sam. Losing the will to live. Oh, nice, nice. There's one left. Look at that. Hey, you've made a path across the driving range. Thank you, Max. No gators were harmed in the making of this game. Jeez, that certainly took long enough. That's because it's a vastly up, broken game. I hate mechanic. that game. Is that because you're a lousy golfer? You're an irritable bunny today, aren't you? Yeah, well, why don't you try sitting in this smelly booth while I beat the hell out of helpless fish? Maybe I should just leave you there. Did I mention what a lousy golfer you were? Suck, Sam. Let's 
get him out. Oh, let's open a secret door. Hey, Sam. Hey, what? I found another sample of Sasquatch fur in mange in the booth while I spent my young life waiting, just sitting there in that horrible booth. Yeah, we get it, waiting. Max. Jeez, Max, get over it. Okay. Here, you carry it. I'd better. I'm not sure where you'd put it. That's yeah. none of your business, Sam. At least Sam actually wears clothes. Right, let's open this door. Walk over here to see what it actually is. I think this reveals another location, if I remember it's correctly. It's a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Goldwump, Washington. I'm assuming these aren't real places. I mean, Washington is, but Goldwump... Let me see! Take a look. Too bad it's empty or we could shake it. Like this? <laughs> yeah. Rather than animate the hands, the bottom of the animate the entire screen. To Elmo the Bigfoot. Keep on trucking. Shavul the Mole Man. <gasps> hey, maybe Shavul's at the Mystery Vortex. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. <laughs> Let's do it. How do you get out of here? Oh, down here. I'm hoping everyone can hear the music. Half of the fun of MIDI was trying to guess which instrument it was trying to emulate. Sounds a bit like steel drums. Let's go to the ball of twine again. Oh, I've just remembered what the hand is for. Let's go back up to the restaurant, because we didn't actually go in the restaurant. I was thinking about getting that loose bit of twine, but there's something else to do up here. Shake a leg, Max. Right. This guy. He has wrenches. Yes, let me talk to you. Come on, let me speak to you. What you doing? Using my telekinetic powers to bend my tools. Why? <laughs> to help me fix the rotating mechanism on this diner. Well, that makes sense. What are these malformed tools good for? Lots of things. Like scratching those hard to reach places. Every place is hard for me to reach. Would you like a free sample? Yes, please. Sure. Let me make one for you. It's all yours. So this isn't where Thanks. I get the um the hand out of the jar. I remember speaking well, to a character fine. who opens jars. I've got to use this elevator. Thanks for the clarification. Alright, back to the car. to world of fish. The helicopter always comes conveniently just as you've solved the puzzle, which is good. 
I don't know, like, who on earth would think this abstractly. I think the only reason I know how to finish this game is because, you know, I remember when the internet was invented, or at least first available in our household, it was a computer that my dad had set up that on the living the room trick. floor. And he basically said, oh, this is the internet. And I think maybe I was, what, six, seven at the time? And I was like, what's the internet? He said, oh, it's like a global information network and you're able to basically search for things. Obviously right then it was really primitive. Um, but I was stuck on another point and click adventure game called Star Trek A Final Unity. And I had to, in the game, prove to this alien that I was enlightened. But being like six, I had no idea what enlightened actually meant. So the first thing I did was look for a walkthrough for that game to get past that obstacle. And once I discovered walkthroughs, walkthroughs were a thing, um, I obviously looked up Sam and Max and uh, the Sentinel, which were other point and clicks I was playing at the time. And um, I think that's probably how I finished both this and Day of the Sentinel back in the day. But ever since those times, I've played these games multiple times. It's kind of wobbly in here. I can just do it off the top of my head now. I'm hoping to do um, Star Trek A Final Unity at hey, some Max, point. Come here. I don't remember that quite as well as Geronimo. these two games. Their tentacle and the Salmon Max. Here we go. But it was um cheat cheatcc.com. That was the name of the site. I don't know if it exists anymore. But it was like my go-to place One for cheat must codes. must admire the skill with which the wily Uber Trout stalks its prey. This is one of the ten most liberating experiences of my life, Sam. <laughs> Holy mackerel! I'm a trout, stupid. Holy trout! Wouldn't he I just like? You were made of plastic. No, I was gonna say. Let me just put two and two together and be like, wait a minute, you're the massive fish that was to my right. Come on, put you back into it. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> he literally drowned within like a millisecond. Now what do we do, Sam? I'm thinking. What's that noise? It's it sounds like you do when you've eaten too much Thai food, Sam. Here it comes. It's weird with these older games, because, you know, when you first load them up, what, 24 years after they were made? Was it 24? No, it's longer than that. 28. 28 years ago, this came out. And immediately you're like, oh Christ, the graphics have not aged well. But I don't know, after like, well, it's been 53 minutes. But after some time, you know, you're having such a good time with the gameplay and the witty dialogue that you completely forget that it looks like garbage compared to modern games. But still, for 93, like, considering a lot of games that came before this and how they looked, I think this looks exceptional. Cheap laugh. We're an hour in. I don't want to say I'm a third of the way through. I'm optimistically a third of the way through. Need a big enough. I don't even know why we need the twine. I told you I had a plan. It's ready to use. Hey, Max, I've got another plan. I think I liked you better when you were clueless. Shut up and climb over the rail. Whee. See, that wasn't so bad. What are you two doing out here? <laughs> Any more bright ideas? Let's start crying like babies. <laughs> All that. Oh, to be a cartoon. And there'd be no consequences for your reckless you endangerment of your own life. I don't think we were in a vacuum, Max. <laughs> hey, how will we get our car back? Wait for it. <laughs> because logic. Uh, 
Oh, I suppose the mystery vortex. Sam, this place is making my head ping. That's probably just the metal plate in your head. Bing! Right, this place always used to confuse me. So you grow and shrink depending on where you are. I think you have to go into the basement to basically control what size you shrink to so you can access different doors. I think it's the orange door which is the um, pivotal one. Wow! The mystery vortex is controlled by giant magnets buried under the Earth's crust. I'm strangely saddened by our callous shattering of a cherished American myth. Get over it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, let's see what we've got. So that makes it red. The door was like kind of orange, wasn't it? There we go. First time. I guarantee it's not this door now. <laughs> Jair Bear in the chat says his shrinkage is temperature dependent. Absolutely. As men, we favor the warmer temperatures. Not that door. Maybe it's the other orange door. Or maybe it's... Come on, Max, hurry up! I'm becoming a ball of intellect! Let's hightail it out of here before we lose our corporeal bodies forever! This place is weird. Alright, let's try the other orange door. Close this blind a bit because my face looks really bright. I honestly now think it's the red door. <laughs> Becoming a ball of intellect. Let's hightail it out of here before we lose our That's corporeal lazy. bodies forever. Just the same line from the other door. Or maybe it's an orange door thing. Shavul is behind the red door. That is my prediction. Sequences take forever. Take me over there. There we go. Promising. There he is. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We bust punks. And we're overachievers. <laughs> That's cool, man. I'm Shavul. What do you want with me? Hey, Sam, look. Well, this bottled water is a real letdown. Pretty stale. We need your help. Help is my middle name. Or maybe it's Star Child. What do you know about Bruno? Bruno the Bigfoot? He's got terrible posture. Why do posture? people keep asking that question? Bruno and I go way back. I've always felt a special kinship with Bigfoots. I feel the same way about pointy sticks. <laughs> 
Shh. I haven't thought about Bruno for years. Allow me a moment to karmically link myself to him. The place you take all the time you need, <laughs> if you must. Hold on, I'm getting something. I see Frog Rock between the enchanted Argyle Forest and the inexplicable Valley of Ah, uh, Frog Rock. Hey, man, Bruno's in trouble. Is that going to reveal it's like on the map? several voices screaming out in terror and then suddenly silenced. Sorry, guys. But I can't get a clear psychic image of Bruno. The sad truth is that I haven't been able to concentrate very well since I lost my mood ring in the biggest ball of twine in the world. I just remembered how to Find get the hand out of the jar. Maybe I can help you. Well, I guess that's all for now. Make yourself at home. I'd rather not. It's basically, you have a conversation with the guy who runs the Snuckies, and he says something like, Oh, I've never met a jar I can't open. I obviously haven't been speaking to him, so... Because I'm playing this game badly. Hey, can you open this for me? Sure. Ain't a jar made I can't open. Wanna bet? <laughs> now we put the hand on the end of this. Because, you know, Sam and Max logic. And now we go to the biggest ball of twine and shove that inside the ball. Giggity. And I think that's where we find the mood ring. I must say, the um, verb usage with the right click just to toggle through them is just super convenient compared to the old format. But I do even think on Day of the Tentacle you can toggle, I think at least on the remaster, when you hover over an object or a person, it gives you the most suitable icon for interacting with them, which does streamline the whole process. Here we go. Well, that was useless. Hmm. Yeah, sort of like those tax forms we keep finding in our mailbox. Well, now I'm confused because I thought that was the way to get it, but obviously I'm missing something. That the hand should be holding. Well, that was useless. Hmm. Yeah, sort of like those tax forms we keep finding in our mailbox. Let's have a look in the inventory, see if I've got anything, which... <laughs> All I can think of is Max. Oh, maybe it's magnetic. Yeah! Brain power! Yes. That was wholesome. Not to mention physically improbable. Thanks, Max. I'm glad you see the absurdity of it. Right. Uh, we've got five people watching now, so... Oh, wrong side. Hello, new viewers. Thanks for tuning in. Do make yourselves known in the chat. And let's have some banter on this Sunday. It's Adam Hales! Oh, Asin. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know how you're doing. Oh, where are we going now? Back to the mystery vortex. Now you know, Adam, that I'm mega obsessed with these games, because I've probably mentioned them to you several thousand times over the years. They never get old. And at least we're in the age of the remaster, so there is a possibility we'll see this jazzed up. You're back. And we're bigger than a bread box. What? Three bread boxes, even. What do you want now? I want to give you your mood ring, you ungrateful bastard. Is this your ring? Cool, man. Have you found Frog Rock yet? No, 
But I don't see how finding it's going to get me any closer to finding Bruno. I know how to find Frog Rock, but finding I don't enjoy Finding Frog Rock's only the beginning, sequence. man. Once you're at Frog Rock, you'll need some samples. Samples? Yeah, man. Bigfoot samples. We have you found. know, fur and stuff, three of them. Smear them all over Frog Rock. Smear. Put the fur on the rock. Got it. Let's go, Max. Wait. You'll also need some Mystic Mole Man powder. You must be joking. <laughs> no joke, man. Here, I'll get you some. Oh, God, where from? Oh, thank God it's the chest. Here you go. Sprinkle this Mystic Mole Man powder over the fur when you've smeared it all over Frog Rock. <laughs> oh, What'll happen then? Smear. Something wonderful. <laughs> Thanks. Let's go, Max. They're both so cynical. Thanks. Just ignore the fact that this dude is just going through the color spectrum in front of us. There's something to do in this room, so we're just going to check this out Yikes. before we hit up. Gravity's taken a holiday and lost its luggage. <laughs> That's Ooh. not what I'm about to lose. Big I think I'm going to throw up. Throw down. Whatever. Eventually, I'll need to use the snow globe here and trap some of this vortex power, but I need a cork to do that. I don't have a call. Stealth gib to over wonk oi odd talk. <laughs> I'm upside down, cutie, not dyslexic. Oh. Voice acting in this game is stellar. Do you sell any snow globes like this one? We used to, but not anymore. Why not? Because they were having an inexplicably bad effect on the vortex. On the With vortex. every new snow globe we built, the vortex got weaker and weaker. The same thing happens when I watch sitcoms. <laughs> <laughs> so we decided to discontinue the snow globes for financial reasons. I guess this means you don't have any snow globe stoppers. You got it. Great. We'll be back. You are useless back to me. Front, it's all the same to me. Where to next is the question. I think we've done everything we need to at the ball, Twine. <laughs> Oh, struggling now. Give it some thought. I think we've done everything we need to at Snuckies. Walk over there. Thank you. Um, let's check the map. I'm really not sure. We've got to find Frog Rock. Frog Rock. Finding Frog Rock is this annoying sequence up here in the diner. You may have seen, those of you who were watching earlier, that there were some exposed wires in the floor. I thought I needed some wires to connect that to the um, telescope lookout thing. But I don't think I do. I think I just have to grab them and connect them. Shake a leg, Max. Up. This is a completely unusable. Go out the lift, Max. Here we go. Kind of dive has exposed wires coming out. Now I can control the speed and direction of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Shock him. Static, Jerry, am I right? Uh, maybe not. Right. Let's find Frog Rock. It's between City of Lights. Seeing the same thing over and over again. Random. 
spinning and hopefully come on. See world of fish. When I first did this, I remember there being a lot more in these binoculars. But I'm just seeing the world of fish and nothing else. Have I done something wrong? Am I missing a step? Oh. Right at Frog Rock, but everything's too tiny. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, I've lodged the magnifying lens in front of the mounted binoculars. Here we go. That's the enchanted Argyle Forest. Where's Frog Rock? It's a rock. I think I need more data. Why, it's the eternal plain of acid rain. Was it between that and the Argyle Forest of Lights? It's a rock. Nope. Another rock there. It's the inexplicable Valley of Lights. That was it. Let's just go back. And... Frog mm, it's a rock. And it's between the two things Shavul said it was between. It must be Frog Rock. Here we go. <laughs> Ass in rain, indeed. I think I can see Frog Rock. That was a blast from the past, Adam. Isn't that you were talking about climate change on a video of mine, and you said, I think you just misspoke acid rain, and we just went, Ass in rain. <laughs> The Rock, the undisputed champion of the world. Hmm, it's The Rock. Jerry, that just reminds me of that Diablo belt. The undisputed champion of the world. He gave me that Mole Man powder, didn't he? Yes, it's in that lovely gold looking bag. Let's smear all the samples over the rock. Got three. Imagine how long this game would take you if you didn't know you needed three. That's gross, Sam. It's necessary. And the final ingredient, the Mystic Mole Man Powder. Well? <laughs> Wait for it. How does he know? Sure gets dark quickly around here. I don't think this is a natural occurrence, Max. In fact, I think we're witnessing a celestial convergence of some sort. <laughs> Do you think it'll make that rock look more like a frog? Because reasons. Alright. Well, up for a collab, I haven't looked forward to that. Go to Bumpersville. This means something, Sam. <laughs> uh. Seems pretty obvious. I'm guessing no one's having any problems with the audio. I've heard no complaints so far. It's a Conroy world after all. I think we should go back if to the If we ever get this rich and famous, I want you to shoot me, Sam. It'll be a pleasure. You're about to see one of the first 
usages of VR in video games. It's a portrait of John Muir. Say, Sam, just who is John Muir? Who's John, Who's John Muir? Muir? Hey, guys, this dope doesn't know who John Muir is. To be fair, I You've don't. You've gotta be kidding. What a maroon. What a maroon. Dip cow poop. <laughs> cow poop. Sam, the dead animal cow heads are talking to me. Where? Up there. Up there. Well. You really shouldn't tell fibs about dead animals, Max. <laughs> what? Stop bugging me. I'm admiring this portrait of John Muir. But who's John Muir? Do you really want to know? I'm gonna Google it. If you'll stop talking, sure. Okay. Hit it, boys. There once was a man named John Muir. He was a mountaineer, apparently. Noble and pure. His love for all beasties. The most and the leasties has never been equaled. Uh, he was an early advocate for sure. preservation of wilderness in the United States of America. Father of the national parks, John of the mountains. Born April twenty first, eighteen thirty eight. Died December twenty fourth, nineteen fourteen. Now we know who John Muir is, and I'm going to steal that. We open this? this is a completely unusable thingamabob. Cleaning robot is key. Bumpus Mill is proud. Oh for no! You. The master of melody, the king of country, Mr. Entertainment, Conroy Bumpus. I hate floor shows. I remember my childhood in Brighton. When dear old dad would bounce me on his knee He'd say, son, there ain't nothing as exciting There's no tambourine in this song exposing beasts to inhumanity That's why I'm That's harsh Whilst you guys enjoy this, I'm gonna go and pee I got back in time for the end. <laughs> Everyone leave while he's gone. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate your support. Just gonna make myself another drink. Thank you, thank you. Your attention, please. Conroy Bubbis has left the building. Right, well, that's clearly a force field. Can I talk to them? Hey, Trixie! <laughs> right, so we can't talk to them. Let's use Max to disrupt the force field. I can't use these things together. Okay, clearly not. Uh, I remember. Yes, Adam, I washed my hands when I went to the toilet. I wouldn't know where to begin. Thanks for checking in, Dad. I don't think he'd want that. Right. From what I remember, I need to reprogram the cleaning robot. 
to basically go through the force field and that triggers an alarm or something. Wow! It's Monster Truck Weekend! Happening every Sunday. Sunday! Sunday. Okay, I'm over the shock now. I'm not, but I'm sure my gentle naivete will survive. Monster trucks used to be so big. I mean in popularity, not in size. They've always been big in size. That's awesome. I would love that. I also like the um, number plate. MY TRUCK! I don't want to strain myself. Oh, well, it's a good thing that I can use this. Conveniently, the fish is no longer attached. What you doing? Hang back, buddy, and observe my magic. I think this is the manual for the robot. Oh, Max. Robot is clearly unconcerned. Oops. So we've got a new viewer. Hello, new viewer. Feel free to introduce yourself in the chat or just lurk silently. I don't mind either way. Find out all you need to know? Maybe. Oh, and they've gone. I got a little lost in the troubleshooting chapter. I have that effect on people. Right, I know I use you now. I can't do anything with it while it's moving. I'm trying to get it. Right. He's Don't not me. my type. <laughs> now that I've read that ponderous manual, I can move the robot around like this. I'm right. impressed. That's nothing. Watch this. Help me, Sam and Max. You're my only hope. Uh. That was gratuitous. <laughs> Sorry. This Lucas might be Arts, more useful. back in the day, um, used to own the rights to Star Wars. There was loads of Star Wars references in these early point-and-click adventure games. Right. Clearly, need to send him to that room and make sure it doesn't go to any of the other rooms. Off you go, boy. How'd you get out of this? Escape? I don't think the cute little robot wants to follow its new programming, Sam. I don't recall giving it a cute little choice. <laughs> Here he goes. There he goes. I'm ripe with anticipation. Right. I thought I smelled something. <laughs> oh, the dialogue is so witty. What the? Jump the gun a bit there. And you should know. <laughs> Never got that joke when I was younger. So it's jump the gun a bit there. Like I would have walked into this room and realized I can't use the VR headset whilst the, the lackey, Lee Harvey, was there. But thankfully, I had the foresight to sort it out. Literally like us. This is virtual reality. I may be sick. I don't know why this used to scare me when I was younger. Key master. Does that come with a dental plan? Dental plan. I don't know what you two critters are up to, but I want you out of here now. We're playing on the VR headset, mate. Right.
I'll save you. I know this isn't the end of the game, but close enough. I can't use these things together. Why not? It's clearly a key, and that clearly has a keyhole. There we go. I think I was clicking on the door. Dental plan. Lisa needs braces. Thanks a lot, Lenny. That was a Kyle. You ruined my train of thought. Dental plan. Classic. Gee, thanks. Well, back to the proof. circus with you. Conclusive proof that Bigfoot's a real. I'm feeling a little morally conflicted about taking Bruno back to the circus. I'm not. Let's go, you big lug. Max, you have no Stay away compass. from him, you malefactor. Ooh. I'm not a malefactor. I'm a Lagomore. What a great info. I'm going to start I'm using malefactor. I'm going back to the circus, and I'm late for a party. Oh, yeah, the Bigfoot party. Where is it? It's at Evelyn Morrison Savage Jungle Inn in picturesque Half-Life, Nevada. Bigfoots. And their dates. Only. Understood. Which is why we'll need to make a Bigfoot outfit. But I have Let's actually go. used up all that Bigfoot hair, so... I think I have to shave a mammoth? Like, something like that? Yes, I do. But I'm missing some of the locations, so... There's maybe two or three more locations that need to be discovered for me to actually finish this game. And I have no idea how to get them, so let's go to the Bigfoot party. Maybe we'll discover one there. <sighs> Over to Nevada. This place is tiki rific. Tiki rific? Yeah, I feel immersed in native culture. I just hope this place has authentic savage tiki drinks with that authentic tiki tang. Let's find out, sir. He obviously needs a rasp. Here you go, mate. Here. Got this though. Ooh. Ah. This is great. Really great. I owe you guys. Can I have your hair? I need it for a costume. Let me shave you. What's this girl? Hey, aren't you Evelyn Morrison, famed B movie star? Yes, I am she. I've seen all your movies. My favorite was Robot Terror from Beyond the Galaxy. Is that the one where the alien says, Clam do Beretta Nimno? No, that's Vampirus in Prison. Obviously, Sam. Oh, yeah. Would you like Evelyn Morrison's autograph? Actually, we just want to ask a few questions. Evelyn Morrison is always available for interviews. You haven't seen a short, self-absorbed, crazy-as-a-bedbug country western singing star around here, have you? If you mean Conroy Bumpus, Evelyn Morrison had him ejected from the premises hours ago. Why? He was harassing Evelyn Morrison's guests. Have you had any problems with the Bigfoots? Evelyn Morrison has always worked well with grotesque creatures of the night. Savage. I'll take that as a no, then. I'll get back to you later. Evelyn Morrison will be here. In the meantime, ah, why not brush. take some of these brochures? They have Evelyn Morrison's autograph on them, making them must-have collectibles. Thanks. Evelyn Morrison. God, she grates after a while. Show me places. Hmm. I hate it when you hum, Sam. It sounds like a high-voltage tower. These are pamphlets for the Mount Rushmore Dinosaur Tar Pit and Bungee Jumping National Park in North Dakota. And some place called the Celebrity Vegetable Museum in Goat Liver, Texas. Two new places. Bought it. Pretty sure it's the entire map I think now. I like the humming better. I actually think I might complete this game. I said three hours. It's an hour and a half. 
hour and a half remaining. I know if I try and walk in there, he won't let me because I'm not a Bigfoot, so I'm just anticipating the solutions to puzzles before they become apparent. Maybe at the vegetable farm. There's a woman down here that I need to speak to. I can't makes, use these things together. I'm pretty sure I need to talk to her first, but she makes like kumquats or squashes in the shape of celebrities. What the holy mother of gourd is this? <laughs> oh, isn't it obvious? I grow vegetables in the shapes of famous celebrities. For a small fee, I'll grow a vegetable from a photograph. Oh, that would have been my second guess. <laughs> What prompted that batch of Conroy heads over there? Well, I was trying a new growth hormone for some of my more distinguished personalities when I realized it was no good. Now it won't stop. They just keep growing like that. Big misshapen growths on top. Reminded me of Conroy Bumpy, so I ran a special. <laughs> Savage. So what do you know about Bigfoots? Well, they don't translate well into vegetables. I have been experimenting with the idea for a while. There's just no such thing as a furry vegetable. Believe me, Check out our fridge. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye. Max beat me to it. What do you make of this? Famed naturalist John Muir, huh? This looks like a zucchini squash to me. I can do this, but it'll take a short while. I think I just have to go and come back. So maybe we'll go to the tar pits in the meantime. <coughs> this is where I get the hair. Punch jumping out of the nose in the former present must be fun. Let's engage a little bit. Hi, I'm Wally the Wally Mammoth. I may be extinct now, but during the Ice Age, I was king of the mammals. Hi, I'm me. Wally the Wally Mammoth. That was informative. Max, eat him. Hey, Max. Hey, what? I've got a job for those mighty incisors of yours. What? See that woolly mammoth? What about it? Stop playing dumb and get chomping. I need the tar to basically stick the fur. Fine work, the Max. Costume. Now we've got more full woolly mammoth hair than we'll ever need, and we've learned an important lesson. Which yeah, the woolly mammoth died of embarrassment. Okay. Hi, my name is Rex. The f oh, didn't mean to do that. Hi, my name is Rex, the Thunder Lizard. During the late Jurassic period, I was king of the dinosaurs. As you can see, my tiny forearms are quite useless. But I more than make up for it with my powerful tail, my muscular legs, and my savage razor-sharp teeth. Some people make fun of me because I've got a brain the size of a walnut. But they usually stop making fun of me after I eat them. Hi, my name. Hi, my. I feel like I've got to use this to. Yep. When Max moves, that means you've done it right. Make a lasso to get one of the teeth. Can't you just do the whole I haven't thing? got enough leverage from here to pull out a tooth. Oh, 
always involve Max where you can. Isn't this like the usual way that you would remove a wobbly tooth from a child? Attach it to a door. We finally got the tooth. The whole tooth? The whole tooth? Nothing, Nothing but. but. <laughs> I have no idea what that. Oh, yes, I do. I know what that tooth is. Cool. No spoilers. Because I've already spoiled a lot of this for Jerry. Sorry, Jerry. You're still watching. So I've got five viewers, which obviously includes myself because I'm watching this. This place stream. evokes a sense of wonder. But you hello, have four to viewers. Wonder. Thanks for tuning in and keeping me company. This kid is a dick, as I recall. We're going to talk to him. What's going on here, you cute little ragamuffin? What does it look like, Barface? <laughs> you should show more respect toward your elders, Sonny. Respect this, Bowser Breath. Ooh, can I pummel him now, Sam? <laughs> no, Max. Puberty will be punishment enough for this one. True. So long, Squirt. I do hate how the subtitles kind of prevent the dialogue being as snappy. If you don't have the subtitles on, and the comic timing is better. Are you in charge here? Yes, I'm an Olympic bungee jumper and I know everything there is to know about bungee jumping. Olympic bungee jumping? <laughs> well, she sounds sure. What do I do? The principles are important to master. Get a safety harness from behind that little screen over there. Once that's on, it's important that you jump from the board toward the pit of tar below. I've just remembered how to get the tar. But I'm sure a great big hunk of fur like yourself would have no problem. Calm down, lady. Yeah, sounds easy. Looks dangerous. When has that ever bothered you, Max? Bye. So long, cutie. She would eat him alive. Right, snucky cup on the end of the weird hand thing, which is actually the third time I would have used this. It's getting a lot of usage. Let's use the screen to change into the bungee gear. Quit that. So, what do you think? You look ridiculous. It fits you just fine. Ooh, stand back. She may pounce. It's a danger I face every day. So, Max, what do you think? A regular 007. Are you sure? Clint baby would be nervous. <laughs> but get moving. I'm beginning to think you're stalling. Clint. Baby. Who's stalling? I'm just waiting for my buddy to come here and check out this spectacular view. Right. I think I need to just use the bungee cord and when I'm at the furthest point down. Got it. Goblin party, eh, Tom? Now the costume is covered with tar. I'm so very close to finishing this game. <laughs> now we've got a stilt walker's costume covered with tar and faux woolly mammoth hair. Okay. And the last thing we need is a wig. Now, there was a wig in that room where we discovered the robot manual hey, at Bumpersville. You can't leave with that on. Put that back. Put that back. Two hours of gameplay on 
contract to complete it within three. Definitely. I should never have doubted myself. So, I mean, I have considered making streams a little more regular. Whether it's for just my mates to kind of tune in and have a chat or to actually, like, you know, gain some kind of weird following. So, if there's any games you'd like to see me play, let me know in the chat and I'll see if I can make them a reality. Uh, right, where am I off to? Vegetable Park, I'm going to pick up my squash. A pixel hunt sometimes trying to speak to characters. There we go. Where's my John Muir vegetable? <laughs> that works Here well. you go, son. A zucchini squash that looks just like John Muir. Gee, thanks, man. Thanks. Bye. I feel like I need a Conroy Bumpus one as well, so if I. Can I just grab one from here? Yes, I can. How convenient. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go back to Bumpersville. Can't go wrong with The Sims. I have not played The Sims since like Sims 2. I haven't played 3 or 4, but I understand that they took a lot of the features out of Sims 4 and they made quite a lot of the hardcore fan base really angry. I don't know if anyone can confirm that. But, I mean, I know it sounds like a very female thing, but I've always enjoyed like creating the house and decorating it more than actually playing with The Sims lives. I know The Sims is obviously very popular uh, for females. I, I don't know whether it's because of that interior design element, but I understand it. I get it. Like, I have no interest in actually toying with The Sims lives, really. Apart from obviously putting them in the swimming pool and deleting the ladder. But I've heard that you can't even do that in the more recent Sims. So, like, what's the point in playing? Right, so I'm basically going to change Swap this mannequin head for this um, Conroy Bumpus one and take the wig, and that completes my Bigfoot costume. I'm interested to know if anyone watching actually know, like, they would have figured these puzzles out by themselves. And stay out. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that, Adam. A lot of the missing features are in the expansions now. But that's EA, it's an EA thing, isn't it? EA make The Sims. And they are one of the biggest perpetrators of the microtransaction crime. I still don't have that. It says of us Close enough for jazz. Let's go. Need the mystery vortex fluid. And there's something involving an ice pick. Right, let's put this costume on. Okay, I've attached Conroy Bumpus toupee to the Stiltwalker's costume. It's a sentence you say every day. I guess we could try it on. Hmm. <laughs> That's convincing enough. Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. I'll let you guys in with that one. I mean, imagine playing this for the first time and you get the costume done. You're like, yeah, I got it. But you don't have the wig. And he's like, uh, not quite there. Looks like something important's happening. We made it. This is end game. Hundreds of years ago, it was becoming apparent that our time was running out. Yet we were slow to heed the warnings of impending doom. The seemingly slow encroachment of mankind and all that his many living styles entail seemed like a vague and distant problem. A problem for future generations of Yeti to solve. Blithely, we sat back, ignoring Blithely. our own inner call for action. Like Tradition and the status quo were our excuses for complacency. The certainty of not just losing our way of life, but possibly our very lives and the demise of our entire race is now becoming a reality. A reality we can no longer choose to ignore. 
As it turns out, the That's humans the wine and the technology with the are moving faster than we are, much faster than we had anticipated. And so we now face the final crisis. On the table. Unless we pull together, Stimulus not right, just yeah. acknowledging the need for change, but embracing change not just with our hearts and our minds, but with our actions, we will fall behind, moving if this backward was Star into Trek extinction. Bingo, Michael and I would be well, crossing back off to the social music. commentary. Right, so if I remember correctly, I can't get the cork out of the bottle. Um, so what basically happens is we grab an ice pick and that dude up in the revolving diner, he twists it so it becomes a corkscrew. So let's get the ice pick, which I think is part of this part. We run into... Ah. Nope, we don't run into them yet. Don't make a move oh. anymore. Well, 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 a Bigfoot. Well, obviously not Sure a is a scrawny feller. A Bigfoot in the hand is worth two in the bush, Lee Harvey. That's the fence. Uh, sorry, yes. boss. Think nothing of it, old chap. Now, be a good lad and pop off to the bus and get the net. Yes, sir, Mr. Bumpus. Hmm. How do I get out of this situation? Don't make a move. Chuck Max at him. Don't make a move. Uh, that's usually a pretty solid way of doing things. Um, maybe I could take the costume off. There's something you should know, Bumpus. Haha, <laughs> I'm not a Bigfoot. You again? I left the net back in Bumpusville. Forget the net. We're gonna disguise ourselves as a Bigfoot. No, wow. that's my costume. So we can infiltrate their ranks, learn their ways, Why is this and pick them Bigfoot? off at our leisure. Oh. Oh. And no funny stuff, dog boy. Why have yeah. you gone in the freezer? Like, that's just asking for trouble. Hey, Max, why don't you make yourself useful? <laughs> why did they walk? Oh, because they get a change, obviously. That was fun. <laughs> now future generations will be able to enjoy his atonal warblings. <laughs> are there any more shrimp balls back here? Who, who are you? We We're the be. freelance police. We just saved your collective hash. Really? I really want then I guess around. it'd be okay to make you honorary Yeti chiefs. Just like Walk that. This way. You talk to some dudes in a freezer. Become an honorary Yeti chief. Can I have your attention, please? Although it's our it's tradition to allow only Bigfoots and their dates to these gatherings, these two have shown themselves worthy of our gratitude and our trust. These are a naive people. <laughs> and so I'm granting them the title of Honorary Bigfoot Chief. So don't mess with them. That's it? Honorary Bigfoot Chief? Where's the cash? Good point. We don't want Bigfoot money, Max. It's probably made of tree bark or something. <laughs> I know, but it's the principle of the thing. <laughs> you may now wander freely about the convention floor without concern for your health. What? Gee, thanks. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Follow me. He reminds me, Sam reminds me a bit of Mark from Peep Show. Just unrelentlessly unre cynical. Since you have proven yourselves to be friends of the Yeti, I have brought you here to share in our biggest secret. These great totem poles have been gathered from across the world and passed down from generation to generation of Bigfoots. Notice John Muir on the third one. Like fruitcake. We believe they hold the answer to our ultimate salvation, but the secret of their purpose is a riddle we've been unable to fathom. Ah, I sounds got it. heavy. Like fruitcake. It's real heavy. Bruno! Bruno. Like fruitcake. Shut up, Max. Why aren't you at the party? Who can party while their world comes to an end? Most of your mange-ridden brethren, apparently. I told you it was a bad idea to spike the punch. I thought it would loosen up everyone's imagination. 
No wonder we're facing extinction. We're so very nearly at okay, the end. Okay, guys, here's the situation. The Bigfoot way of life is rapidly going down the tubes. These totem poles might be able to save us, but A, we don't know what they mean, B, most of us have been partying too much to figure out what they mean, <laughs> and C, we Bigfoots have a hard time operating in public, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what they, they mean, and I'll tell you when this conversation's help, over. But we're desperate. Well, that's how we get most of our gigs, so why not? <laughs> Great. Why don't you three get cracking on the totem poles? I'm going to the hot tub. <laughs> All right. Right. So the totem poles from left to right are the vortex fluid from the mystery vortex, which we can't get until we get the cork and the wine bottle back in the Bigfoot party to actually, you go in the vortex and you hold the snow globe and then you put the stopper in it. That's totem number one. Totem number two is the dinosaur tube we picked up at the tar pits. Totem three is John Muir. I don't know why. He's the, obviously the, the what was it called? Um, zucchini squash that we got from the vegetable farm. And the one on the far right is something to do with hair. And that's the hair dye from the pillow that we picked up at Bumpersville. So as you can probably figure out, we have three of the four. So the last thing we need to do is sort out the wine cork. And then that is literally the end of the game. It's actually a lot quicker than I thought it would be. Definitely will be done by half fast. Leave. Right. To the ball of twine. Excited to see the end. Shake a leg, Max. I've lost a viewer. Just two viewers remaining. Sad times. I thought there would be larger attendance, so I'm a little disappointed, but it's still been fun. I don't think I can. I'm keeping an eye on the fact that I started Could the stream you 113 this? minutes ago. Sure. Let's see it. Hmm. Thank you. I am a skeleton. How's that? Otherwise known as Tom. Great. You're very, very loyal. Who's the other viewer? Is it Adam or Jerry? Let me know in the comments. Jerry left. Wow, well, I'm guessing that means it's Adam unless there was a crossover. Right, so, end game-ish. Still got to get caught and then go back to the mystery vortex. Oh, I don't need the costume anymore, do I? Sweet. That seems to have gotten the cork off. He says that Shall as we if we've tried. Nuclear disarmament? <laughs> With this poison? Don't be silly. Do I have the cork? No. Sweet. Right. To the vortex. It's really quite cool that um, MIDI as a technology still exists and is still pivotally important in music production. Obviously, general MIDI has kind of gone the way of the dinosaur, which is what you're hearing in the soundtrack for this game. 
but I still think it's pretty cool that the underlying technology is still being used. I mean, it's iconic with like early 90s games. That seems to have capped the snow globe. See, look at all this crap in here that we have kept, but I mean, we've used some of them, but we didn't need the hall pass really because they could have just said, here's a hall pass. Hall pass? Sorry. What do they call it? It's a free day pass. That's it, the day pass. We didn't really need that. We could have just given free run of the carnival. Uh, we still got the fish. We did use that. We didn't use the bucket of golf balls. All the scorecard for Gator Golf. The book we got from the robot, but we didn't actually need it after we'd read it when it landed on Max's head. So, Day of the Tentacle, I think, is better in terms of picking up items that you don't actually need. Can we try the vortex? Step right in. go. I'm not going to finish it in another two hours. I've got four minutes left before we the stream. But there was the preamble before before I started the game, so maybe, technically. Oh shit, I was meant to, meant to use the globe when I was in there. Neat! Let's try again. Can we try the vortex? Step right in. So I'm currently making a game as part of a challenge with well, top of love of my mates. But I think if I was to ever make another game, I would definitely make a point and click because the control input is actually very easy. It's point and click. You just need a fun game and good graphics, so maybe I'll take a course in graphics or something. Wow, the snow globe actually sucked in the pseudo-mystical energies of the mystery vortex. I was hoping something like that would happen. <laughs> Me too. Right, now this is endgame. I'm gonna go back to the Bigfoot party and pop everything in a little pool to reflect the content of the totem poles. Okay. Over there behind the totem. Just take me there. I don't think he'd want that. He does want that. Dentistry? What is this? Some kind of tornado? Reference. A patron saint of Bigfoots? Looks ah, like a before the and after Jomio shot. references now. Makes sense. Bigfoots live in nature. He was a famed naturalist. How do I get down to the little pool? I forgot. Let's talk to Bruno. Maybe he'll know. Okay, Sam. He's here. We're here. Let's go. Wait. Go where? Back to the carnival so we can get paid, you big lummox. I may be slow, but I am not stupid. I'm staying right here. Psst, Max. What? Maybe we should wait a while before returning Bruno to his well-meaning yet horribly twisted owners. Why? Because I have a sick, gnarled premonition that something important is going to happen to the Bigfoots. 
And it would be nice if Bruno were here to see it before we slapped him back in a block of ice. That is considerate. You're getting soft, Sam. <laughs> We've decided to let you roam free until the end of the convention. Oh, joy. Gee, thanks. Is there anything I can do for you in return? What do you make of that totem pole on the far left? Let me take a look. Hmm. Well? It's a totem pole. And? It's made of wood. This guy's it's not too late to take him back to the carnival, you know. <laughs> Be seeing you. Not if I see you first. How do I get over to that? See in the background there's like a shelter. There's a small pond over there. Oh, it's the hot tub that the elder Bigfoot mentioned. I need to get over there. Be around the other side? No. See, I can't remember how to get there. Bridge where I through here. Nope. Nothing back there. Hmm. I'm clearly missing something. Oh. Is there a doorway over here? No, just the, the way we came in. So close, just let me over there. I just completely disappeared off the screen. <laughs> Where are they? Come back. There they are. Come on, just take me over there. I know what I'm doing. over here. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. God, that was difficult to figure out. Right, let's do this. Hey, Chiefy Poo, I think I figured out one of those baffling totem poles. Genuine dinosaur tooth. I figured it might be something like that. Did he say genuine? <laughs> I find remember this guy's like, yeah, I thought that. Did you? you earlier, I think you said I figured you out no idea the what they mean. Holes. Let me see. Held vortex. Good thinking. Thinking had nothing to do with it. Okay. Two left. Hey, Mr. Chief. We found something that might tie into your totem poles. Yeah? W what is it? Very resourceful. 
We just like stealing pillows. Okay, and the last one. Zucchini squash of John. Mio. I believe we've deduced the secret of one of your totem poles. Hit me. Did it. A combination of man and nature. Inventive. Is it soup yet? Well, that should do it, right? Most. Nothing's happening, Sam. What's the story, Pops? Well, I don't know. I'm sure you got the ingredients right, but... Of course. How silly of me. What? In order for the spell to work, we need a living Bigfoot sacrifice. It'd be I'm a thinking. shame to lose one of these furry fellas, don't you think? Wait, I've got an idea, and it doesn't require high explosives. Wait here. But it does involve murder. While he's gone, I'll go see if any of the Bigfoots wants to off themselves for the greater good. <laughs> Couldn't they just replace Bruno back at the carnival? Yay, murder! was one heck of an impressive display. <laughs> and actually highly destructive to boot. Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'm not sure how I could ever thank you, so I guess I won't. <laughs> Will you and Trixie be heading back into the forest to live an idyllic nature-oriented existence together? Hell no. We're going to Vegas to get hitched. If it hasn't been trashed by all this crazy redwood nonsense. We want to be in a place where we can sort of blend in, live our lives, maybe even raise a family. Ew. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, you nutsy primitive man beast, you. You boys should be proud of what you've helped us achieve here today. You mean the wholesale destruction of the symbols of modern civilization in the Western United States? You bet we are. <laughs> Do we win a prize? Well, oh, why not? This medallion has been a part of my family for untold generations. Wear it in good health. Thanks, Chief. Max loves cheap cinnamon. I always thought that used to be cheap mm. cinnamon for Boiled some reason. Boiled-covered chocolatey goodness. Cinnamon. What's wrong, Sam? I don't think the wizard has anything in that bag for me. Well, I could give you my ritual headdress that I bought at Snucky's last week. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture, but I've already got a hat. Well, that's fine, too. Farewell, Sam and Max. Remember, though the night be dark, the dawn yet shall awaken and annoy you. Have a nice day. I'll sentiment. miss that old rascal. I'll miss the way he smelled like a bag full of damp hamster shavings. <laughs> Just like Grandpa. Grandpa? Isn't hey, it grandpa? we forgot to get paid. Don't worry, little buddy. I've got it all covered. I hope you're happy. With those idiots on the case, we'll probably never see Bruno again. I knew again. they'd end up back at the freak oh, show. Oh, lighten up, Burl. 
Hey, they're back. Did you find Bruno? Of course. Bruno! <laughs> How can we ever repay you? The blank looks on your faces are the only reward we need. <laughs> and the money. That and a big fat check. Would you settle for 3,000 skee ball tickets? Close enough. Let's go, Max. You know, Max, I can't help thinking that we've foolishly tampered with the fragile inner mechanisms of this little spaceship we call Earth. Gosh, Sam, if a few hundred years of civilization have to be total just to ensure that a bunch of smelly quasi-human creatures have a safe haven for their disgusting lifestyles, then so be it. Profound. You crack me up, little buddy. You crack me up, little buddy. Bought it. Burl, did Bruno always have four arms? There we go. That is Sam and Max at the road. Shoot these things. Mini game at the end. There, the tentacle reference, obviously. But yeah, that's it. Um, so, how long has the stream been going? It just says two hours now. So, yeah, good amount of time. Um, all finished. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, maybe we'll do this again sometime. But until then, bye.